Hello Aries. Good morning guys. <clears throat> this is going to be your 2019 yearly projection and <clears throat> we're going to go through each month of the year with two cards and a significator or an influencer in the middle. And this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and shuffle these cards a little bit because I've already shuffled off camera. <clears throat> All right, guys. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, please check your uh, Moon and Rising signs as well, okay? It may put together... Um, a better picture or a full picture for you. Alright guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, so this is going to be January, alright, February, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, August, there, August, September, October, November, and December. Okay. And so now I'm going to go and um, put, oh, okay, um, let me make sure my deck is upright because I have an issue with that at times. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give each card an additional card. All right, so I'm just shuffling these a little bit, so bear with me. And we're going to go around the circle just like we just did with those, okay? All right, so... January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. All right, guys. <clears throat> I hope you can hear me. I think my microphone is... The battery is going dead. I need to get one that does not have batteries, okay? We gotta upgrade some kind of way. <clears throat> but of course, that's money. So, anyway, hope you can hear me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pull one card for the significator that we're gonna put in the middle. What is influencing this energy for the upcoming year for my Aries friends? All right, guys, here we go. Ooh. Okay. So, there's a lot of overthinking um, going on into 2019. Imagining the worst. Um, kind of looking back on the past. Having these thoughts that, you know, just really make you feel like... Um, you're walking on eggshells or things are never going as smoothly as you would like for them, okay? Okay, so this is very significant. So the first card we have is a Seven of Swords. And, you know, a lot of times <clears throat> the Seven of Swords does mean that somebody walked out of a situation that they felt like was they wanted to change it for whatever reason okay now the swords are not emotions so they are truly like an intellectual way of thinking um analytical way of thinking so a lot of times when i see this card i think about um an opportunist okay because what's different about and i'm giving a tarot lesson here um with the Eight of Cups is that 
the eight, in the eight of cups it's you you are emotionally depleted you feel like there's nothing else that you can get out of this situation that's beneficial okay it's beating you down emotionally mentally um but in the seven of swords it's more calculated um so there there's something really somebody has really thought out um but it does not have to be that somebody is an opportunist now <clears throat> and when you're an opportunist of course you really step on other people's toes okay so the flip side of that is when you're in something for so long and it's not emotionally fulfilling and you stay in it for longer than that you can get to the seven of swords where it's like you know you don't have um, an emotional attachment there anymore and somebody is still not behaving the way that you want them to so you make the decision here in these two of swords that you're leaving behind and you take what you have left and you leave okay this is going out for something that you feel like is is better suited for you okay and that's coupled with the five of swords here okay so with the five of swords and the seven of swords there is somebody trying to get away with something okay so <clears throat> whether that's you or somebody else there's somebody trying to get away with something um i feel like they are it's a very airy person somebody that thinks a whole lot um with not their heart but their head okay they probably do not display a whole lot of emotion um, very defensive not only are they very defensive but um, this is um, this is almost calculating um, to the point where somebody may say something that they know is not cool to say but they say it anyway because they almost get a kick out of hurting your feelings that's that type of energy okay coming into January that um, <clears throat> that is surrounding you okay and again whether that's you or somebody else okay now it may be that um, if this is you it's that you know you're on defense because again we have the significator right here with you really overthinking things and really feeling like um, you know you're walking on eggshells and that can leave you very defensive and if somebody says something you, you may take it the wrong way you may take it the wrong way because you know you, you're not willing to let anybody step on your toes at this point you've been hurt all right so we'll we'll see where this goes okay so now moving on into February um, there's something that you're waiting on there's something that you're waiting on something or someone that you're waiting on because a three of wands is your card Aries um, and I feel like you have put your intentions out there and it's something that you feel like not only that you deserve but that you worked for it okay um, so I'm feeling like you know it was something that you thought was not that was not um, what's the word that you thought was not going to pan out like you ruminated around this and you thought about this thing and you thought it was not going to pan out but there's something that's showing you that um, that to keep hope that you know there is a great possibility that what you have done um, is going to bring you reward and I feel like in February you're waiting on that reward you're waiting on something here okay and, and as I stated that you know you have put something out there so we have the ace of Pentacles here and this is money okay so I feel like um, this has everything to do with a job opportunity okay something that you start at um, maybe it possibly a new business that um, that you kind of felt a little shaky about 
and you really didn't know that it, you know if it would pan out or not if it would be lucrative what have you but I see you waiting on your pinnacles to come in you've been putting in the hard work I feel here and also this may be somebody that's significant to you um, you know potentially offering you something a gift to date you know that sort of thing as well all right hang on you guys let me see something here okay <clears throat> so <clears throat> when we go into March we see the eight of cups over here and that is <clears throat> being emotionally depleted okay so again I, I feel like you're kind of teetering between your social life and your job or your work or your business okay you've got several things in the mix I do feel okay and there's something that is no longer um, emotionally serving you now this could be someone else that's walking away as well and I get the feeling though that I'm gonna turn this one on over and this is a high priestess this is following your heart this is following your heart and your intuition with the high priestess being there I feel like this is you walking away from feeling like nothing is working out for you okay I think you know going into the new year you are changing your perspective here so with that being said I feel like this energy is you being defensive being very defensive but I don't think that you're being defensive and hurtful on purpose I feel like this is a defense mechanism because something has brought you into the new year feeling like you know you need to be on defense all the time you've been hurt okay you've been hurt and so but I think more towards March you are getting away from that energy and I feel like that's what it is and you're using your intuition you're following your heart you know that this energy is not good for you to be in okay so I see you progressing throughout the year all right because you get to the point here in that in April where um, you are more giving you are more giving of yourself um, you know you still are not on guard but you're not oblivious to things that that are going on around you and you're not willing to accept anything um, you're not gonna stand by and not say anything if something offends you you know you're still there because this is why you are here going into the new year okay so you're 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 going to work with people look at this we have the three of cups coupled with the six of pentacles this is you working with somebody or some people and being happy and joyous while you're doing it okay so you're getting happier and happier you're getting more comfortable as these months go on okay now <clears throat> going into May we have the page of wands here okay now this could be you this could be you starting something new, passionately thinking about it, excited about it. Um, it could very well be you, all right? But it could also be somebody else, somebody new, trying to spark up something with you. Maybe a relationship. Um, it may be a new job opportunity where somebody's wanting to do a collaboration with you. Um, so there is something new that is coming into play here in May let's see what that's coupled with oh look at that hmm we have death there clarifying um, the page of wands so what I'm getting is that this is probably somebody from the past that is trying to come back in in the month of May where 
something ended here that was not good um, possible ways of thinking possible ways of reacting to things but this person's coming in as a page because this is something new so it's like they've reinvented themselves here with the death card okay and that's like Scorpio energy all right so somebody's wanting to come towards you with um, with with an offer here in May and they may have been in this nine of swords mode too thinking that you know you didn't want them or you know you guys can never be together again you know something along those lines all right so come here in june as this person comes back you have your back turned to them all right um this is moon and cancer energy but i don't think that th when they come back if this is a person from the past, it may be too little too late in your eyes. I feel like with that Four of Cups because you have your back turned to them and you're kind of whistling in the air like, really, now, after all this time? I don't know how long it's been, um, but you know, usually during a transformation, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. So this is probably something between you and this person that happened a while ago and it may be because you have your back turned to them because you're starting something new there's something that has sparked your interest and I feel like you know this is going to be a missed opportunity for this individual when they do come back because they waited too long they gave you too much time you found somebody new you found somebody new you found your worth you found your worth because I feel like they brought you this nine of swords energy, all right? You found your worth and um, you know it. You know it. Brand new way of thinking about things. You know, you know that with the high priestess over here that you don't have to say things to believe them. You don't have to say things to know it because in your gut, you will feel what is true, what is right, all right? And you know that, you know, some people go back to the people from the past, but, you know, over here with the Six of Pentacles, you're good with working with people. I feel like, you know, whatever, whatever this individual brought to the table before, they didn't bring the Six of Pentacles. They didn't come to work with you. I feel like you gave a lot with this individual before, which is the reason why you were walking on eggshells and being defensive, not wanting to allow anybody else in to affect you the way that you were affected here, okay? So you have to get back to the Six of Pentacles and be like, hey, that's not even me. You know, when I'm with somebody or when I'm involved in something, I give my all. But you were thrown off kilter here okay but now you've got your you know you've got your happy back over here you're back to yourself and then here this person comes and it's like uh-uh not going there again not going there again because i know my worth here i know my work my worth here i'm working i'm building my empire i'm building my legacy and i i only want to be involved with people that want to work with me not that i have to try to make work with me okay Try to work with them to to get them to be the person that I need for them to be. No, I need them to come that way. All right. So that's your stance right there. All right. So again, over here, you've met somebody that sparked your interest. I feel like you're in love, and there was a choice to be made between um, the person from your past and somebody new. You made that choice. I feel like, or you're going to have that choice rather, because we go from April, May, June, July, this is August, okay? So by August, you are going to be in a full-fledged relationship where somebody is going to, um, you know, motivate you and, you know, to get you to a point where, you know, you can see yourself being happy with somebody else. You can see this Ten of Cups, you know, possible marriage because, you know, the Lovers is um, a very uh, carnal sexual card, um, but there's more than sex here with this person. You have the Ten of Cups there. 
that's a very fulfilling relationship dynamic okay now going going into September <clears throat> there's something that is still kind of holding you back a little bit because I feel like you're gonna you're going to allow this person to this new person you're going to allow this person in your life but I feel like there is something that is going to kind of make you not revert back but almost scare you okay because again here we have the significator all right and the nine of swords but there's something that ha has you running scared I feel like going into September because you're going to be thinking about if you don't actually do it um, you're going to be thinking about being single again because it's like you know what well, sometimes relationships are way more than they're worth and um, nobody's ever gonna take me back to where you know I'm thinking about them constantly and um, here we go again with the nine of swords presenting itself clarifying the nine of Pentacles yeah see you don't want to be put in a position to where you're walking on eggshells with somebody somebody's not offering you emotion you know they're very cerebral they feel like they can think they, their way around a relationship not knowing that no love is not that cut and dry and so I feel like you're turning your back on this situation probably before it even gets to the point where um, you have to have this this five of swords energy with somebody else that seven of swords energy with somebody else it's like because you see here it's like you're not letting anybody affect you nobody's going to affect you like that again so whatever happened in the past is very significant because it is shaping who you are from here forward okay and then in October here you are this is this is um, the divorcee card people call it this is somebody that has been hurt um, the Queens are more reactive they come from an emotional stance okay now being that you have been hurt before you've got that sword up like you're on guard you are on guard at this point because it's like I'm not letting this bull crap in anymore I've been there done that I'm not doing it again okay that's coupled with the Knight of Cups so I feel like somebody kind of walks away with their tail tucked not because they want to but because they have to because you're not allowing it this is a night you're a queen okay this person you feel like is not on your level okay so I see that you're progressing throughout the year to be able to use your discernment to cut out things that are not serving you to not allow things in that weren't serving you before to allow them to do it again okay I see that's where you're coming to alright so in November look at this Wow you have the moon and the Sun you're seeing things very clearly very clearly okay you know you know how to express your feelings you know how to analyze your feelings um, you know if what you're doing is is you know overreacting or what have you you know when somebody is really showing genuine affection to you or whether they're using their narcissistic tend tendencies to like try to get you to a point where they have some control over you no you've been enlightened to that bullcrap okay by the but towards the end of the year Aries you are you are getting it you are getting it and I like it I really like it and then here you come finishing out the year choosing the path that's best for you you're choosing the path that is best for you okay 
you're no longer willing to sit and, you know, think about who loves you or who doesn't love you or, you know, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. you're walking away from that. You're walking away from that because I feel like with this five of cups, you know that you have to love yourself above all else above all else I feel like I feel like you're going to um, focus on yourself more is the way I feel and I feel like you're leaving somebody behind that um, that does not want to be left behind let me just say that whether it's the person from the past whether it's the new person that you meet um, but you're leaving something behind that you feel like comes with this nine of swords energy mm -mm. you're not trying to be emotionally depleted anymore okay so aries that is what i have for you for your 2019 projection i hope you guys enjoyed and i will be speaking with you soon